Hey guys, so I went back to the flea market, not this weekend, but the previous weekend, depending on when this was. And the flea market is a Spanish flea market. I am the only non-Hispanic person who goes there. And I was talking to the owner, and the owner actually watched the video. And he was like, oh cool, thanks for the uh, shout out and stuff. And I was like, oh, no problem. And so he's giving me boxes for $5 a box which I believe is a good deal, but I haven't been able to break even from any boxes. In this particular video, I'm just gonna do as many boxes until my camera overheats as possible. Corn Helm, Clockwork or Beats, Beast, Colossus, Dingus Egg, I don't know, I'm assuming these are not worth any money. Band, Summon Spells cost an additional two to play. If this didn't cost six, it would be pretty good. Gauntlet of Chaos, oh, these are rares. Kind of boot rains. I mean, this was how bad rares were back in the day. It's just, but I do love it. Was this a rare? Truce. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'll, I'm guessing that, I'm hoping that all these are rares, but I'm not positive. Helm of something something, infinite hourglass. Jade monolith, I'm pretty sure that is a rare. Sano bags. Obelisk of undoing. Wow, this stuff is just like too expensive. This is back in the day, the Hive. Um, some black creature, Forget, used to be a rare, Magus of the Unseen. And Hoff Constable. <laughs> primal Order, during each player's upkeep, Primal Order deals to that player an additional amount of damage equal to the no number of non-land basics they control. Titanium Song, and wow, look at this card, five bucks. And all it does, it's a one one that gives other creatures plus one plus one. That used to be worth five dollars, guys. I'm not even kidding you. I'm 100% like not joking. That card I remember playing my uh, against a friend, and oh, I think this is uncommons. I remember playing against a friend, and like I was like, oh, dude, that card is like OP. It's like, oh yeah, it is. It's like expensive. Gauntlet of Chaos. Not sure if that card is good, but there are multiple copies. I just need a hit on like one or two good cards, right? And then I'll be like good. Crawl Giant, Crumble, I believe these are uncommons. Desert Twister, like times a bazillion. Elven Riders, this card used to be OP. Like this was the quality of cards back in the day. Elven Riders was considered like one of the strongest cards you could play in green. I'm not joking. And it's like tons of them, elves. I mean, come on, can we find like something kind and still, if we find something that Life Force that is semi-valuable, like $2, we'll find enough copies to justify, probably I'm gonna do a few different boxes. The boxes are heavy and in Houston, the weather is, oh, this card, hmm. In Houston, the weather, oh, like this used to be really good. The weather is a tsunami. I wish that these hate cards were a little bit more money. Or maybe like I'll find like a summer magic card and then it'll justify all the money I've spent. Tsunami one through like 50. Untamed Wild. I think Nature Lore is worth some money. I've seen that card go up in price, but I don't know if that's in the set. Wall of Brambles. Wanderlust. Were, were there any good cards? <laughs> what set is this? Fifth edition? Fourth? And then, I believe it's fifth because the printing looks pretty modern. Wanderlust, a bazillion. This card used to be like one of the best cards against black. Man, I've missed this card. Oh, and we have some old school. The Dark. Oh, we're looking for that the Dark Land. That's worth like 20 bucks now. City of Shadows. Winter Blast. One through like 50. Pack. Man, I just want to find like a Birds of Paradise and then have like. 20 of them and it'd be like, oh man, I did it. Let's see, the dark, we got Mars Gas, Goblin. I'm pretty sure there's nothing valuable in the dark. Minus that one land. So that was $5 that we didn't find a single item. So let's go to $10 and see if we can find a single item. And this one is packed and it does have sleeves. It looks like it's more modern-esque. Grape Shot, okay. Prismatic Lens, I'm not sure that's worth any money. Lands, looks like part of a deck. Grinning Ignis, this card used to be really good. Stone Rain, I believe this is old school Stone Rain. So we'll put it here. 
It might be worth some money. Planar Chaos. Oh, these are uncommon. Moon Glove, which I used to play. Makeshift Mannequin, that's probably worth like 25 cents. It is reanimation, so uh, maybe this is a little more um, random than usual. I'm going to try to go through it as fast as possible because we have a lot to do. Oh, these are sleeved. This is like how you know junky sleeves. Um, let's see. Leaf glider. Snow covered swamp. All right, all right. We got like 50 cents or a quarter of value. Can we find other snow covers? Grave, spine. Okay, we're finding stuff where we. Ooh. Ooh, portal. Now, portal is beautiful. I do love myself some portal. And there are valuable cards in portal, I feel like. But they're hard to like. Determine which one is like plant elemental When it comes in play destroy one in your forest or destroy plant el elemental hmm not the best plant and fireball Oh, these are old school. This is different language Different language like is this betas? It doesn't look like betas Different language I'm Okay, someone tried to alter this and someone tried to alter this uh, Very poorly by the way But uh, someone tried to alter this one which looks a lot better. So I guess they gave up mana class Okay, we're finding cool cards. These are cool. Oh This used to be very good in dredge, but I don't think dredge is a deck anymore and but I wish this was good, but any coin flipping effects are probably not good. I wish we just found a stack of snow cover lands. I feel like that's probably my most likely way to make the $10 back so far, is we, if we found a stack of snow cover lands, and we, oh man, we're just finding stacks of lands, but they're like sequenced, so they're just onslaught. And I like that because um, if you don't know, bulk lands are worth quite a bit of money because people, game stores need them for drafting. That's why they always ask for you to return them, and you should return them, but if you want to sell them, oh, nice. Okay, this is good stuff. Wow, okay, cool. And we get a bunch of unglued. This stuff sells like crazy. Unglued is one of the most popular se sets to sell, uh, mainly because casual players just love it. And it's getting harder and harder. Oh, I messed up the unglued. It's getting harder. Hopefully, the rest of this is all unglued because this is definitely worth five dollars. Um, no, it's not unglued. Rolling Thunder used to be worth a quarter. Stun. Circle of Protection. Shadow. White. I remember when people used to play Circle of Protection, and that was people had to ban those because it was just too strong. White, Tempest, what's in Tempest? Wasteland, Mannequin, that card used to be really good, Beetle, okay. So, oh, we just kind of moved to Tempest for no reason. And these are Tempest commons of all things. Oh, Kindle used to be really good. I remember my friends having Kindle decks, which was as successful as the Kindles for uh, Amazon Kindle. Okay, uh, Spinal Craft. Enfeeblement, I'm pretty sure this is used to be a very valuable uncommon. It was repeat board wipe. Are all of these uncommons? I feel like they're commons. But anyway, that is it for box two. I do feel box two actually gave us some cards uh, that may be worth money, but um, I, Understanding is that we're ten dollars under, and I mean bulk is bulk, which it's fine. Well, I thought that was a bug. I was like, oh man, did, does this also have like lice in it or something? But let's go to the next box. We're nine minutes in, and no, I'm just going to end it here, and we'll just do two more boxes later. Bye, guys.